All right, hey guys, what's up? Um, welcome back to my channel. Today is hopefully Friday. Um, I'm actually filming this on Monday, but um, I want to try and get on a normal schedule of uploading on Fridays, but it takes me about a whole week to edit because I cannot sit and stare at my computer screen for that long. My eyes go cross-eyed. I just straight up don't have a good time. Anyways, today I'm going to be showing you how I got this look. This is the final look. Um, I decided to film my intro after. I don't know. Switching things up a little bit. We don't know how we're going to do it. We're going to figure it out. This is kind of my everyday natural glam look. It's not really that glam, but this probably would take me about a half hour maybe 20 minutes if I wasn't filming. I do have a 10 minute makeup routine that I plan on filming sometime in the near future. Maybe next Friday, we never know. I have big plans, okay? I wanna keep doing makeup videos like this where I just kind of talk you guys through what I'm doing. Maybe I have like a thought that pops into my head and I wanna try and recreate it. Or maybe, I will try to recreate something that I find online, on Pinterest, um, social media, something. I also want to get some of my friends in here, so I want uh, my friends to come do some makeup with me, let me do their makeup. I know my fiance wants to do my makeup, we have that in the works. You guys will see that sometime in the next couple weeks. But instead of just doing sit down makeup videos, I want to do, uh, you know, some challenges. I want to do makeup challenges, of course, but I also just want to do funny viral challenges with my friends. So this will not be an entirely makeup channel, but I think everybody will still enjoy it because I'm going to try and make it funny. So if you watched my last video, you know that I left in a lot of times where I messed up and I felt like that's what I needed to do so that I could embrace my fuck ups and people would laugh with me and not at me. I've been into makeup for a really long time, but I just started this because I was too afraid to put myself out there to record videos. I didn't want people to judge me and now I just don't care. I'm just having a good time and you know, I had so much fun filming and editing my last video so I think this is something I'm going to really enjoy. But I'm going to try and keep it lighthearted and funny because I don't want you to just sit here and listen to me try and be serious because I am not a very serious person. Anyway, so those are my plans. Also I know my last video was kind of long, I'm going to try and keep this one short. I typically want them to be about... 10 minutes maybe a little over so if you sat through the entire 20 something minutes of the last one thank you i really appreciate it i promise i'm gonna try and do better next to today's video like i said this is kind of my natural everyday glam look it goes with pretty much every outfit it's neutral toned it's super easy and i hope you guys keep watching what a wonderful I feel like it's like crooked. Like is it or is that just me? I did hang those shelves, so they could be crooked. Like, oh, this is hard. Jumping right into the video, I'm gonna use the Stila One Step Prime, the same primer I used last time, and just put that all over my face. This is actually probably my favorite primer. I also got new concealer because when I was editing the video, I know I said my concealer was crusted, but like it was really crusted. We needed it was it was time to just give in and buy some new stuff. Now I'm going to use the Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer with a satin finish. Sounds fancy. I used this the other day. It was the first time I've used the hydrating concealer. I've used just camo concealer before, which I really recommend. I'm pretty sure I've heard it's a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape, which I, I like. When that first came out, everybody raved about it, and it was like, the shit. Like, you, you got that. Of course, I never did. Because, like, why? 
But then I also heard that a lot of people don't like the shape tape now. I feel like the hype kind of wore off and just people aren't really into it anymore. But this stuff never fails. When I apply the concealer, I do the inner corner of my eye and a little bit goes a long way, okay? The outer corner, again, give it that lifted look. I haven't even put my foundation on. We gonna blend this out and then we're gonna conceal our problem areas because I haven't even done my foundation yet. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I just got too caught up in the filming. All right, let's do it. Now that we've done that and I'm not sure why or what I was thinking or what I was doing, we are going to conceal just the problem areas and then put the foundation on top of it. The silence that is in this room right now when I am just doing stuff and not talking is like deafening. It is so quiet and my dogs are out there and they're being really quiet which means they're probably doing something bad but Oh well. The reason that I leave it unblended is because when you blend it, the product moves around. It covers more, it gets more sheer. So I just wanted it to be densely packed on these problem areas and then when I put my foundation on, uh, we just kind of really blend it and make sure you don't see these harsh lines underneath. But it keeps it full coverage and really keeps those spots hidden, especially your acne scars. If you're like me and you can't leave your face alone, this will help. Next, I'm gonna go in with my trusty Superstay foundation uh, from, what the f is this even from? Who makes this shit? Maybelline. All right, I'm gonna put that on. Should I like, and then like come back with it? No, I can't do transitions, okay. I just really try to get it into the hairline. Uh, you know, really around the edges of my face, by my ears, just so that people really can't tell that it is not your shade whatsoever and you fooled them. You did it. So now I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. concealer and conceal under my eyes and the high points of my face. Even though I've already done under my eyes once, I, I fucked up, all right? I made a weird noise. I'm just gonna set my face real quick with my revolution powder. <laughs> what the f is it called? I'm just gonna set all the places that I just highlighted with my revolution baking powder and then I'll be right back. Nice. Don't start. Don't start. Eyes. I'm gonna do my eyes now. I'm not sure why I don't finish my face first or why I don't do my eyes before anything. This is just how I started doing it and what feels natural to me. <laughs> like a lot of times I just start talking and then I get halfway through the sentence and realize I don't know where I'm going with it. I mean, that's not even when I'm just filming. That's just all the time, honestly. Oof. Now I'm going to do my eyes. I just choked a little bit, oh my god. Today I'm going to be using the Berries and Cream palette by Dominique Cosmetics. So this is what the palette looks like. Um, I'm going to be using just the neutral shades in there. Even though they're all kind of neutral tones, I'm going to be mostly focusing on the browns and the shimmer shades. First, I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and dip into Soft and Sweet. 
And I'm just going to use that and blend it out in my crease. Next, I'm going to use the shade Toasted. And I'm going to put it on the same fluffy brush and do the exact same thing. Blend it into my crease and just make everything a little bit darker. I have a really bad problem of not cleaning my brushes. Ever. Next, I'm going to take the shade Chocolate Mousse on a densely packed brush and I'm going to pack it onto my outer corners and then blend it inward so that the darkest part is on the outer corner and then it kind of just fades into my natural color here. Yeah, but it's okay. It's Bob Winkle. Come on, get out of here. <laughs> this shrimpy. Go to bed. <laughs> she actually went to bed. So what just happened was <laughs> Damien got home from work and he came into my makeup room even though I texted him and told him I was gonna be filming. And I walked in and he said, oh, are you filming? And bitch, yeah, I am, okay. When he opened the door, the dogs came running in and caused chaos. Things were shaking and falling and it was rough for a minute. And then as soon as I tried to start recording again, the ferret, wanted to get a drink. She was parched, I guess. <sighs> We're back. Okay, let's get back into the eyes. Next, I'm going to take the shade Honey Dipped on a flat brush, and we're just going to put that on the lid, stopping right about where the darker color fades into my natural skin tone. And next I'm going to take the shade Sugar Cookie and I'm going to put that right in the inner corner. And the last thing I'm going to do for the eyeshadow is take a fluffy brush and just kind of blend everything out. I'm not going to go all the way across my eyelid though. I'm going to just blend right here where the shimmer and the matte shade meets. And then the same over here, just kind of blend around the shimmers together so it looks more like a gradient rather than just harsh lines. I just went and got more coffee. This morning I literally had coffee and pizza rolls for breakfast because <laughs> we need to go grocery shopping. That will save you. So let me show you this eyeliner trick that will sh shave, shave, cut. Let's start from the top. The other one's awake now. Cut and play something funny, probably a TikTok. Alright, whenever you're ready. Oh. Baby, you missed the whole goddamn ocean. I be damn. I use the Too Faced Better Than Sex eyeliner. It's the best eyeliner I've ever used. So you take your eyeliner, you go to the outer corner of your eye, and you're going to draw a line. So that's the line I'm going to work with. Now I'm going to take it from the end of the line and draw a straight line and connect it to my eyelid. Alright, that doesn't look very good right now, but let me show you what I'm going to do. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take a small angled brush and we're going to dip into any black eyeshadow. I'm going to dip into the black shade and I'm going to go over the line I just made with the eyeliner. Right on the top and kind of blend it out. Then I'm going to take the same shade 
And instead of putting eyeliner on my entire lid, I'm just going to use this and blend out like there would be eyeliner right on my lash line. And there's a winged liner look and then once your eyelashes are curled and have mascara or you put falsies on marvelous okay so that pretty much covers it for eye i'm gonna put on some mascara put my eyelashes on and i'll be back um again you don't have to do lashes it's just typically if i'm doing this look well not even typically it would just be like 50 percent of the time if i'm doing this look i just want to wear falsies because i like them they make me feel more confident. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to do that for this look and then I'll be right back. For blush, I'm just going to use this little Morphe blush in this shade Spirit. Um, I'm pretty sure this one came in my Ipsy, which I used to get and I don't anymore and I don't know why. To finish off the face, I'm just going to go in with the gold highlighter in my blush and bronzer palette. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. The last thing I'm going to do for my face before I set it is just to put on a little bit of lip gloss. For some reason, I prefer lip gloss over lipstick. I'm definitely going to use a gloss over any short... Sh sh I'm definitely going to use a gloss instead of a lipstick majority of the time. So I got this um, nice little lip gloss set for Christmas because my best friend knows how much I love lip gloss. This also came from Marshalls because that's how we roll. Anyway, we have watermelon, cherry, apple, and raspberry. What should I use? Okay. Okay, so I couldn't decide which one to use, so I just took them all out and I'm going to mix them up and randomly pick one. Watermelon. Ooh, she. Okay. Cuticle scissors are sharp, dude. Okay, I want to stab the shit out of myself. So I actually decided to exfoliate my lips then I, with this little lip scrub that I got from the Dollar Tree, actually, because, you know we save the money. I really like it because it's not harsh like other lip scrubs that I've used. Once you put it on your lips, it like, I don't know, you rub it in and it literally like melts to your lips. Like it's not harsh. You don't have like little crystals everywhere. The only thing I will say is that it tastes awful. Like it's meant for your lips, but don't get it in your mouth because that shit's gross. Okay. It tastes like, I don't know, lotion or I don't know. It's not good, okay? It doesn't smell like watermelon. Maybe it does smell like watermelon a little bit. Oh, it doesn't taste like watermelon. Don't taste it. So last, I'm going to set my face with the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. Also from Walmart. Milani. Love her though, okay? I am going to fix my hair and then I will be back with the final look. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe learned a little something. You know, just a little, a little something about something i don't know uh anyway make sure you follow me on all of my socials and i will be back next friday with another video peace really when i do makeup videos i wear um like a nicer shirt i mean this is just a t-shirt but for good reason and then like my pants are gonna... oh, no! <coughs> my pants are literally sweatpants and i'm wearing my slippers Thank you for watching, bam. What a wonderful...